did that that print did kind of fail some stuff that just came loose from the board so i'm gonna have to re-glue some stuff but i guess let's go and look at some of the stuff that can be salvaged here that that gun looks all right okay guys today is now friday yeah yeah, today's Friday, day after Thanksgiving, and uh, we were trying to print some stuff for, like, the commando armor, and unfortunately the print failed. This is what, I guess, kind of came out looking somewhat like commando stuff. This one's probably pretty obvious, but it's the bottom of the helmet. Yeah, didn't get near fa far enough to finish. This one is a little knife hand. That one came out all right. That one might be salvageable, but it did actually crack, unfortunately, right there. That is commando pistol. That one came out pretty good. Unfortunately, the back side where it was stuck to the bed, though, does not look good. This was the start of Sev's shoulder pad. It just never finished. This is the two-scale commando blaster. And this one actually came out really good on this side, but again, the side that was stuck to the bed did not. Kind of same with this, but this was the, like, uh, heavy, like, rocket launcher one, and it just didn't finish printing. And then, of course, it got stuck to the bed, too, and it doesn't look good. This was uh, Sev's shin piece. Don't know what that was. And then this was the start to a chest piece. So yeah, not a whole lot that can really be salvaged out of that, but it was a good uh, a good start. Okay, I just got a notification saying something shipped to my PO box. So we're gonna go and check and see what that is. I already know what it is, but I'm really, really excited for it because I've been waiting for quite a while. So let's go ahead and check that PO box. All right, we got the package. Let's get it. Anyway, so I did film Ask Lugnus Monster yesterday, but half of my recording doesn't have any audio. So I didn't upload that yesterday like I was planning on it. I'm just going to reshoot that second half today, probably right now. And uh, we'll go ahead and get that uploaded today. All right, we also did just check the P.O. box. Let's go ahead and get this box open. This was actually for a trade that I did with a good friend of mine and subscriber. I sent him both sealed. One was a Archive Tuscan Ra Raider. I almost said Raver. <laughs> uh, and the second one was a sealed Mobius, Marvel Legends Mobius from Loki. And this is what I got in return. I think I got a pretty good deal. And uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and open it. I'm uh, really happy I was able to do this, though. So thanks, uh, thanks, Ian, for hooking me up. Let's go ahead and get this guy open. I totally biffed that. But it is good enough. Okay, so. Really a big box, I think, for what's actually in here. But yeah, let's just go ahead and cut this uh, bubble wrap. I guess I can just slide it out. Ooh, okay, first up is a Bosk. I don't have Bosk, that's awesome. Okay. And then uh, this guy was the main thing I traded for. It is Archive Anakin. That is nice. Heck yeah. And then uh, he said he also threw in something extra. And um, I think he said it was a knockoff. I think this is a knockoff Shadow Stormtrooper. Still looking freaking awesome though. Yeah, that's cool. I believe that is it. Okay, so starting off with the main thing that I was trading for, it is Archive Anakin. So we do have his alternate head here. It's looking really nice. And then we have the figure himself with his lightsaber. Looking super, super nice. This is the Archive Anakin, so not the best articulation, but it is a really, really nice looking figure. So definitely gonna have to take either my uh mace windu cloak or my old ben cloak and put on him because he definitely needs the jedi robes nice now all i need are some black series younglings all right yeah, i got him to hold it and man this figure is awesome it has like even jaw articulation super cool super cool man i i really hope bosk shows up in book of Boba effect because that would be absolutely incredible yeah def it just feels like a super big character it's compared to like somebody like mace windu can really see the size comparison he just feels like a really big character but yeah super and the cool. last up is uh he said it was a bootleg figure here my light is not on there we go 
Looks a lot better, yeah. He said this was a bootleg figure, and at first glance, it looks like a really good figure. Then you actually get to the articulation. So for one, this is a clone body to start off with, with a Stormtrooper head. But even the clone body itself is weird, to where uh, it looks like dual-jointed elbow, but there's only one joint, and that's as far forward as it can bend, is that much. There is no swivel at the bicep at all. There is no uh, hinge at the shoulder like a normal clone has. There is no waist movement at all. Can kick up surprisingly far, but there is very little knee movement either. It can only, I guess, kick up about that far on the knee. And there is also zero uh, thigh swivel either. So, yeah, definitely a knockoff figure, but pretty cool to have. Just so if you guys have ever thought about, like, buying knockoff figures, they're not perfect. There's definitely flaws, as you can tell, with this guy. That sucks. I uh, I thought it was printing pretty well, but I, I guess not. Okay, let's, uh, let's see what I can salvage out of this mess. So uh, these I have to take the supports off of, but I think I might be... Nah, I don't think I could salvage those, but we did get this pistol... I do have to cut away some of like the supports and stuff, but it is good on both sides this time, which is super cool. These two both finished printing, which are the elbow pads. So I should be able to salvage those. Those just go on here if I show it like that. So that should be salvageable. And then um, this one isn't didn't finish printing. I believe this is like uh, one of uh, Scorch's like armor attachments or something like that so let's go ahead and get these out of the supports and see how much of this we can salvage Alrighty guys, I just got back from GameStop in St. Louis, actually, which is pretty cool. And uh, they had this guy. They had a few other people there. Um, I know they had Aura Singh. Aura Singh's just a cool figure, but not one that I'm super interested in. They had a few Marvel Legends I wanted. I almost got Captain Carter. And then I almost got the uh, Miles Morales Gameverse figure there, too. And I kind of just ended up passing on it. And then I went to check out, and I got this guy for like 15 bucks because I still had their Black Friday sale going on. But there was a huge line behind me, and I didn't want to wait in line again. So I ended up passing on that Miles figure. But that Miles figure could have been, like, literally 15 bucks with the with the, the Black Friday discount. And I really wish I went back and got it, because that would have been a great deal for that figure. Anyway, this was a figure that I didn't have, and I just had to pick it up. So today's also Saturday. I don't have a review out on the channel yet, so I think I'm just going to review this guy. So I'm going to film the intro for this real quick, and then I will unbox it for you guys. To get a few of those Fallen Order characters out of the case there, like the Second Sister and the Purge Trooper, and uh, eventually Cal Kestis. Too. Okay, we do have our intro filmed. Let's go ahead and get this guy out of the box. Uh, Fallen Order is one of my favorite Star Wars games of all time. I have a ton of nostalgia for the game, even though like it all it didn't come out that long ago. I still have nostalgia for playing it. And uh, Flame Trooper is just one of the cooler Stormtroopers from that game. So I figured I saw it, I had to pick it up. Here we go. I do really wish it came with the flame effect. I don't know why they don't include that anymore. It's very, very unfortunate. But we can just pop that bad boy out. There we go. Only one accessory. Let's go ahead and uh, see what he looks like. So yeah, pretty cool looking figure. He is just uh, mostly reuse of the Snowtrooper mold with a different helmet. But yeah, it does look super cool. New backpack as well the pipe does go all the way along to the flamethrower i wish the flamethrower had more paint on it but overall it is pretty cool <laughs> 